Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam and today we are going to be doing an overview and guide for General Grievous in Star Wars Villainous. Now today we will learn how to win as General Grievous by covering what his cards do. And throughout that process, not only will we learn how to play him, but we will also learn how to think like General Grievous as well. Now before we dive in any further, let's go ahead and review two new gameplay elements that come with Star Wars Villainous. The first is going to be Ambition. This is a secondary resource that you're going to get one of at the start of each of your turns. Now this can be used to play powerful Ambition cards or to activate Ambition abilities, much like activated abilities in other Villainous titles. Now next we have Vehicles, which can represent iconic ships, transports, and others in the Star Wars galaxy. These cards can be played to deep space, giving you another location to place your hero, giving them actions to use, as well as a special ability when you go to that location. Now there's also fate vehicles in your fate deck, and these can engage and disengage with your vehicles, but when left unintended, they will actually shrink your hand size when you're drawing up at the end of your turn. General Grievous, the commander of the droid army and apprentice to Count Dooku, has an intense hatred for the Jedi. Whenever he gets the chance, General Grievous will hunt Jedi, and when he defeats them, takes their lightsaber as a trophy. Now to win as General Grievous, you will need to defeat heroes in your realm, collecting their lightsabers. Heroes like Ahsoka Tano and Kit Fisto actually will provide two lightsabers towards your goal, and you will need to collect eight lightsabers to win the game. Now during the Clone Wars, General Grievous would lead armies filled with droids, and these droids you can use either to help you defeat Jedi, or you can destroy them yourself to gain credits and ambition. Your B1 battle droids are your main frontline troops. These cards are easy to get into your sector. Take care to place them alongside other allies to take advantage of their ability to gain that extra strength. For the same cost and credits, you can also play B2 Super Battle Droids, which are a little bit more resilient, as you can pay one ambition to keep them in play when they would be discarded in a Vanquish action. The X Droid Commandos are also resilient as they come back to your hand after vanquishing with them, though it will take additional credits to deploy them again in your sector. But all right, time for the big guns. The droidikas are useful no matter where they are played. When a vanquish action happens anywhere in your sector, you can actually move the droidikas to that location and use them in the vanquish action for a single ambition. Now, magna droids are oftentimes used as General Grievous's personal bodyguards, but their ability is very helpful for Grievous's goal by keeping heroes at their location and mobilizing them from moving away. And then we have got Gore, which is an ally that can be used to get some extra ambition throughout your war efforts. You want to have Gore gaining ambition and vanquishing foes as soon as possible so that they can be replayed and gain you even more ambition. This will be one of your goals throughout the game as General Grievous. And as you can see, all of the allies in General Grievous's deck are very important to your goal as Grievous. Now, while your droids are on the front line, you will need to use effects to further your goals without brute force. Using motivational tactics is a great way to gain some extra ambition or credits, but you'll have to remove one of your own allies in order to use it. So you want to be playing those droids and allies into your sector in order to have some of them be expendable for this ability, because this one is a really, really good one. Now look, we all know that General Grievous is really hard to catch. His escape plans throughout the Clone Wars have always been impressive, and honestly, Obi-Wan and Anakin would know this better. Best of all. With Escape Plan, you can either get a vehicle in the sector or an ally, or you can even remove a hero vehicle from your sector. All of these could be useful throughout different points within the game. Count Dooku's Orders allows you to play both a new ally and a hero into your sector. This is one of the few ways that you can actually force heroes into your sector just in case you're not getting faded enough and you really need to defeat some Jedi. 
And let's say you're struggling to defeat Jedi in general, no pun intended. Add to my collection is a powerful effect card that allows you to add a lightsaber to your supply. However, it comes at the high cost of four ambition. Now, this is not going to be as efficient as Vanquishing Jedi, but it can help you towards your goal during tougher turns. Now, General Grievous also works with conditions. Now, to use trained in the Jedi arts, you'll need a hero in your fate pile already. So, defeat a hero as soon as possible. Having a hero in the discard will ensure that your opponent's fate actions will give you more lightsabers because you'll be playing that hero back into your sector. And let's just say that your opponent never fates you so you don't have any targets to gain more lightsabers. Well, hunting Jedi is a way to get them into your sector yourself. General Grievous also has powerful ships. The Solus One is your quick escape ship, good for maneuvering and vanquishing, and has an added ability of drawing two cards, which gives you more options to achieve your goal. Malevolence, however, is going to be your command ship. Allowing for some ambition actions and discarding unneeded cards is wonderful for planning. But the best part about the Malevolence is the ability. Removing two weaker allies to defeat a stronger hero in your sector is a great way to be efficient in collecting lightsabers. Now, the counters to Grievous's plans can be a huge setback and come mostly in the form of the Jedi coming into your sector. Anakin Skywalker, for example, will defeat all allies at his location when played, which means Grievous may fear keeping all allies at a single location. Now, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Grievous have an extensive past of moves and counter moves. Obi-Wan removes one of Grievous's vehicles when played. This can be a huge blow to your plans if Malevolence gets destroyed. And then you have Mace Windu, the reason why you have your incredibly bad cough. Mace Windu makes all allies in Grievous's sector lose one strength. Now Ahsoka Tanu starts off weak, but grows stronger as heroes are played into Grievous's sector, so make sure to defeat her very quickly before she becomes too strong to where you cannot deal with her any longer. Now, Grievous players need to be aggressive in their efforts to collect those lightsabers. It is important to fate your opponents at every opportunity to ensure that they want to return the favor as you need those heroes in your sector to defeat to collect those lightsabers. Your condition cards and Count Dooku's orders are very important to you for this reason, being able to maximize how many heroes are coming into your sector. Now, let's say your opponents aren't fading you. Well, that's not the end of the world because if you can be playing your own heroes to your own sector, you can choose where they go. And consolidating them all at a single location is going to be the best way. That way they're covering less actions in your sector and you know exactly where to defeat them. You can start piling all your allies at that location as well. And finally, don't be afraid to destroy your own joids using malevolence or motivational tactics. You do not need them. As long as you're playing them into your realm for a cheap cost, destroying them for those really powerful abilities is going to be the best way to find success as General Grievous throughout the game. However, I have one last tip on being more powerful as General Grievous, and that is to learn your enemies as well. Therefore, I have a guide right up here that you can watch in order to learn a little bit more about your opponents. <laughs> 